Hello everyone, thank you for watching our live program. I'm Sun Ting in Shanghai. Where we are now here is the National Exhibition and Convention Center in Shanghai, and this is the venue of this year's Shanghai Auto Show. Today my colleague Richard and I are going to take you to a tour around this event, looking for those high-tech trends and products of automobile industry, which shall bring infinite possibilities to our daily life now or in the next 5 to 10 years. First of all, let's play a 10 second short video to get a general picture of this year's auto show and I will provide you some of the details later. Okay, with the theme of creating a better life, Auto Shanghai this year will showcase the most cutting edge technology and products, innovation idea, artistic design, intelligent experience and glamorous lifestyles. Let's start today's tour from the Horse Ray. This is a new area set by the organizer this year that will showcase the technology and the products of future mobility. When we talk about future mobility, one of the technologies that concern most by media and public is auto driving technology. And what you can see now is a new face of China's local automobile technology company, Holimatic. Okay, let's go inside and have a tour around this den. Today we are very honored to have this pretty nice lady. She will introduce you more information about this den. Hello. Hi. Welcome maybe. to our booth. Thank you. And could you please say hello to our audience and maybe Hi. introduce a little bit about yourself and Okay. Company. Okay. Yeah. Hello, everyone. My name is Liu Jing. I'm the marketing director of Holomatic. Holomatic is the name of our company. And do you want to go inside and take yes, a look? Yes, of course. So, um, our company provides autonomous driving solutions targeted at mass production, and the solution are based on cutting edge AI technologies and uh, automotive and automotive industry technologies so maybe we can go inside to try this one. yes so you can imagine yourself uh, in this position so from this position the driver's seat if you look outside to uh, through the window to the big screen it's like you actually uh, experience experiencing the driving on uh, expressway uh, the car is equipped with hollow pilot okay. system so hollow pilot is the name of our highway pilot autonomous driving solution so, okay, now we are on the Shanghai Beijing Expressway, right? <laughs> yes, yes. It's a part of our test uh, test drive. This March, we began test drive in a large scale, and this is a part of it. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. So, what can we see on this screen? Uh, this is our. Uh, it's it's like uh, uh, interaction with the the driver, driver? the passengers. Okay. Yeah, to show you the road we take and how the system performs so uh, what we can, we can see now yeah, is now we're entering a tunnel and okay. you know in a tunnel the gps signal will be lost but we managed to work as well the system managed to work as, as well and now it shows the function of active lane change and later overtaking okay on the way and we can see that the car is now operate autonomous driving mode, yes. right? Mm -hmm. the w uh, it turns as the car goes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello, pilots. We use uh, we use the te technologies of uh, multi sensor fusion and. Now we can see that the car goes out of the highway, and this is during night uh, when the light is dim. We can manage that because we use the technologies of multi-sensor fusion when the camera cannot work so well, because you know camera is like our eyes when the light is dim or even the light is too 
bright, uh, we can now see clearly, right? The cameras is just like our eyes. So when the camera didn't work so well, we have other sensors to compensate, to make it up, so that our system would, uh, would perform perfectly under all kinds of conditions. Okay, so what's the aim of our this kind of road test? This road test is to collect the data okay. because, you know, uh, autonomous driving solution is, is very data driven. So we need the data, uh, the real data on the road. We don't do the solution. We don't develop the solution in the lab. We need real situations. let's go into Pony and this is another startup company focused on autonomous driving technology. Okay, we're now at the place of the Pony AI. This is another startup company focused on autonomous driving technology in China. And we are very honored today to have Anne here and she will bring us more information about Pony AI. Sure. Hello. Nice to meet you again. And maybe please uh, introduce about this our our stand this time in Shanghai Auto Show. Sure. Yes, we, we have already seen a lot of high high techs here in this right. area. Okay. Yes. Just follow me. So actually, we can stop here first, okay. and from the screen here, you can actually see us. And the closer you get the color is more eye-catching yeah. and all the screen is actually displaying the results of sensor fusion from this vehicle yeah. and they are done um, by the hardware module and software module combined so from the vehicle itself you can see on the top and on the two sides there are three lighters in total and on the top of the vehicle around um, around the roof cover okay. there are different cameras also around the, bod the car body, there are radars. So all those different sensors, they form the perception hardware model. And with our perception software, the car is enabled to see the world around it. Um, again, back to the screen, on the left side is actually the LiDAR point cloud view. And on the right, um, on the right, uh, lower side, it's the camera view. Yes. And then you have the right upper side, which is the integrated view of the world that's viewed by the car itself. Yes. We can see that the outlook of this car is very, very cool. It looks like a virtual car that people can really from the uh, driving itself. So have it already on the market? Actually, this car can already drive on itself. We've been driving uh, and testing the vehicles uh, in urban public roads in China and the US. Now let, let's cut to my colleague Rachel and she will bring you more information about China's new energy vehicles. Thank you, Chin. Hello, everyone. You are watching live program with China's Xinhua News Agency. I'm Rachel, and we are now at Auto Shanghai 2019, one of the most influential auto shows around the world. The brand you are looking at pr should be pretty familiar to many of you because this brand is a pioneer in China's electronic vehicle market, and this company has just finished its initial public offering in New York Stock Exchange in last September. Let's see what this brand is going to offer to you. Come on guys, let's see. Guys, beside me is Ted Lee. He is the, the head of the product marketing area of NIO and he is the very first employee of this company too so he knows a lot about the success about this company so ha hello ted Hi. hello, hello. Nice would you like you. to introduce about this uh, neo power 
Swap Station. Yeah. Okay. Would you like to tell us more about this? Sure, sure. Welcome first, and uh, this is the Neo stand in Shanghai Auto Show. And right behind me, this is this is the uh, Neo Power Swap Station. Uh, this is actually the first to be put into the China market mass user services. As you can see, that here. Uh, the vehicle in the in the station is our Neo ES8, which is a five meter seven seater SUV, and currently it's just completed a cycle of uh, power swapping. You can see the station is pretty compact, and and it can actually be based in any areas in the cities in the urban areas. So the, here it composes two parts. One is the vehicle stationary part. Here we park the vehicle inside the station, and the mechanism underneath it will be the swapping station. Right. Yeah. Now we are going to initiate another cycle of the swapping process. You can see the first part is actually jacking up the car, fixing it to position, and the system is capable of raising it to half a meter high. This is very important because normally in the, in the city areas, you're not allowed to dig a hole in the city, ah, right. which means that you have to make the station can jack the car itself. Right, you can see there's a little trolley inside and we have a rotary system on, on bar, uh, underneath it. Now the trolley is going to take the battery out of the car. Ah. So underneath there, there are roughly 8 to 10, uh, we call it the bail bolts. Mm -hmm. Those bolts are specifically designed for power swapping. Basically, a lot of people ask us uh, how many times you can swap the uh, vehicle. Actually, you can do more than 3,000 times of swapping, which can basically cover two users' life cycle. Mm -hmm. So it's very, uh, very uh, stable and very reliable and is patented. So around this power swapping concept, we basically have more than 300 patents being uh, approved and uh, owned by NEO. Now the system is going to bring the old battery into the, we call it the, uh, the, the, the battery station. The white one. Exactly. It's a battery. That is the battery pack. Ah. So now inside the battery stacking station, we basically have normally six to eight uh, fully charged battery packs. So in storage. In storage, exactly. And the station itself can also recharge the batteries without need to be shipping the batteries out of the station. Mm -hmm. Basically, normally a day we can achieve like uh, almost a hundred vehicles in rotation, in operation. Ah, the new the new battery should be coming out in any time, right? Yes, right now it's still going to uh, pick one of the fully charged batteries out of the uh, power stack. Ah, here comes to here comes a new one. Exactly, you can see it's picking that one out. Ah, and. It it will put that one into the car, so the car will be fully charged. Better. Yes, yes. Everything is done under three minutes, right? This whole swapping process is under three minutes for sure. Yeah, how many new power swap stations are there in China currently? So currently we have deployed more than a hundred swap stations in like uh, uh, th over three, uh, 30 cities in China. <laughs> And also last year, based on our uh, effort into the second part, which is not only urban, uh, urban areas, but also the uh, highway swapping. Now we have completed the uh, three major Chinese, let's say the artery highways, the highway systems in China, basically connecting all the way from Beijing to Guangzhou, Beijing to Shanghai, and Shanghai to Shenzhen. That actually links uh, basically all the long range uh, journey requirements from our users, right? Linking China's top tailor cities, making sure you don't have to worry exactly. when you go to those places. Yes, exactly. Ah, so it's finished out on the three minutes. Exactly, so right now it's finished. The process you guys are, the process you guys are seeing is what many people are actually experiencing. So so far, we have completed almost a hundred thousand swap processes since our first delivery of new uh, ES8. Okay. This is the new future, guys. Because this is not all about introducing new models to the market. It's more about making your day-to-day -day usage more convenient. The one we are seeing is called Eve, right? Yeah. This is the concept car of your guys, right? Right. So Would you like to tell us more about this? Sure, sure. So next to us, you can see this is the uh, concept car Eve. Uh, we introduced this car on um, 2017 South by Southwest event, which is a kind of a lifestyle and entertain entertaining event in the US. Uh, this car is very special because we, we call it not a car concept, but we call it the second living room. Mm -hmm. 
mm. in the future. It so, looks like your living room. <laughs> thank you. Yes. So you can see there are all the pieces of uh, accessories, bags, and uh, these pillows are all designed by Neil. Mm -hmm. uh, in the future, we imagine the cars to not only be a commute tool, but actually a mobile living space. So this is kind of the vision. Actually, mm -hmm. the underlying technology enabler is fully autonomous drive. Mm -hmm. So basically this car is capable of autonomous driving mm -hmm. so that people in the car does not need to worry about driving anymore. Although there is still a tiny, tiny steering wheel in front of the car. Mm -hmm. But actually when you're in the autonomy commute mode, the steering wheel can just uh, disappear. Yeah. And now you're in your living room. Mm -hmm. So even the driver doesn't have to do something uh, to do their own driving, but only like for emergency exactly. when they need those control of the vehicles. Right, right. So they are in their living room doing all the talking or anything that they like, basically. Anything. Ah, so when you, we are seeing as the first sedan of your company, right? Yes, so right now in front of you, you can see this is the concept ET preview. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually our first attempt to, uh, uh, to enter the uh, sedan market. Mm -hmm. As you remember, there's the first product ES8, then it's ES6. And based on the same technological platform, we developed the uh, third vehicle. Mm -hmm. It's, a, it's the concept ET. Right? Yeah, this is the preview version, right? Exactly. So currently we don't have uh, further uh, production and further information on this car so far, mm -hmm. but uh, it's kind of representing our pursuit into next generation design. Mm -hmm. And also it, uh, it's uh, capable of the power swapping. Uh, it's uh, equipped with the first generation technology platform, just like ES8 and ES6, but with uh, further improvement. Of course, we are all looking forward to see what kind of new technology you guys are going to bring into this very first den of your guys yep, please anticipate of course that one is looks really amazing this is a race car right uh, it actually is a we call it a production track car mm -hmm. so ep9 is actually the first baby born in the neo portfolio mm -hmm. It's actually uh, completed a couple of amazing journeys, including breaking the record of the Nürburgring, which is famous and actually ranks the top of the world's uh, racing circuits. It's actually broke the, the record not only in, in EVs only, but also the fuel, the petrol engine vehicles. So the world's fastest uh, um, electronic car? Exactly. This is, uh, we claim it to be the world's fastest electric production car. Of course. Look at, look at this one. Actually, interesting is that on the side of the vehicle, you can see there are also these two, we call it the, uh, the cassettes. Actually, it's also capable of uh, swapping its battery as well. Ah, so this one can use this under three minutes technology too. It's a little bit complicated, but mm -hmm. actually the battery doesn't come from the bottom, but to, on the both sides. And it's very good for actually... Oh, on the side. On the side, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is are the battery cassettes that you can see. Mm -hmm. Right? Of course. Right. This one is the award winner and the star. It is, it is. But uh, for this auto show, actually, the star is in front of this our pavilion, which is the Neo ES6. Right. So as you can see, this is the uh, actually the second production vehicle, also the SUV we had from Neo. Mm -hmm. This is a very amazing color too. Yep. So once we are allowed to enter, I will show you the uh, system inside. Yeah, this one is the newest um, model of you guys, right? It is, and uh, we did some uh, little modifications and uh, uh, upgrades to this vehicle. You can see the, the vehicle's inside actually composes a lot of uh, premium materials, but also a sporty seat and steering wheel design. And on top of the uh, instrument panel, you can see that's our trademark Nomi system. Yeah, this little guy here, guys. Hello, this is Nomi. Yeah, he so looks super. She looks super cute. Would you like to talk? <laughs> Give, give her a little bit order, see what kind of things she can do. Sure, uh, just uh, wait, let me go into the driver's seat. Of course. Let's talk to Nomi. Sure, so the way to uh, call Nomi is basically saying, hi Nomi. And you see... Wow, he looks... She looks at you. Exactly. So she know you are talking to her. She is. So basically, Nomi is following the direction of who is speaking, and she can recognize up to uh, four locations and the whole rear seat area. Mm -hmm. So when you are talking, for example, our cameraman, if he talks to the Nomi, then Nomi will rotate to the other side. Ah, 
he knows who's talking, who's the boss. Right, right. And the key takeaway today is, for the new energy market, it's not just about introducing the new models. It's more important actually to make the day-to-day -day use actually more convenient, making sure many people are enjoy their experience. In this hall, you can actually see more of those other car makers introducing many futuristic technologies. A few of those will actually enter your home in a few years' time, get ready to amaze, and let's cut back to Chin, where she will brought to you more new cars. Stay tuned, thank you guys. Okay, thank you, Richard, and welcome back. Just to remind you, you are now watching the Shanghai Auto Show 2019. The show has attracted the active participation of more than 1,000 famous domestic and international exhibitors from 20 countries and regions. We're now at the Hall 8, and this is actually the superstar showroom because it brings together many luxury cars from all over the world. Notably, many of them have made their global debut in this year's Shanghai Auto Show. What you can see now is the Rapid E, an electric car which has just launched by Aston Martin. We're very honored today have Simon and he will bring you more information about this area. Hello. Good morning. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining us here on the Aston Martin stand here at the Shanghai Auto Show. Just want to show you around maybe three of the highlights on our stand today. That's cool. We'll and we have already with, seen the Rapid E. Exactly. Let's, start with the, let's start with the Rapid E. This is the world premiere of the car. This is very important for Aston Martin. This is our first ever electric car. Um, Rapid E uh, will be a very, very limited car. There will only be 150 units sold. So almost we're launching a collector's car right yeah. from the start as our first electric car. The car will feature uh, 800 volt technology, very, very new in the electric car market. Um, where the V12 engine was previously, that is replaced by um, the battery pack. And at the back of the car, we have two very powerful uh, electric motors, uh, making the best of that 800 volt technology, putting out a total power of 450 kilowatts, um, 950 Newton meters of torque, that is the highest torque output of any Aston Martin that there has ever been. The car will have a range of about 200 miles uh, using the new WLTP cycle. Um, so still a very powerful, a very luxurious, but a very silent and a very different Aston Martin that there's ever been before. And we see China as being you know, one of the key markets yeah. for this car. And that was why we wanted to bring this car here. The timing suited um, in terms of the launch announcement. And it was important that we worked with our Chinese colleagues here to bring this car to your market first. Yeah, so what will be the price? <laughs> um, pricing is still to be set. Okay. Uh, we will announce that later on in the year, but we are already taking uh, initial orders and deposits. And we're starting to talk to those customers who are interested in gaining one of those very rare 150 units. Yes. And we can also see the out of outlook of this car is very, very cool. So could you please bring us some of information? Course. So now we move to our uh, almost the, the complete different end of the strategy, you know, from, from the silent yeah. uh, Rapid E to the amazing uh, AMRB 003. Um, this car represents the third in the lineup and the third of the mid-engine lineup that we are producing with our partners from Red Bull Advanced Technologies. Eventually, there will be four cars in the Aston Martin mid-engined uh, lineup. This is almost, internally, we, we almost talk about it as being a baby Valkyrie. Uh, okay. The Valkyrie will be the first car that will come to market. First deliveries will start very early next year. This will then be the next of the mid-engine cars that comes to market. Um, working with partners from Red, Red Bull, using a lot of that technology, that know-how, that bloodline, the DNA from the Valkyrie will come down into more of the hypercar sector. Um, very rare car, like Rapidi, limited yeah. in production. Only 500 coupes will ever be, be built. Uh, we're taking deposits from those customers. The car will feature an all carbon fiber tub, an all carbon fiber skin. It will be powered by uh, a brand new Aston Martin V6 twin turbo engine, but 
like Rapidi, will also have an element of hybrid attached to it as well. Will generate a huge amount of downforce and will be very, very quick, right up there with all of the other mid-engine hybrid cars that are in this sector. Okay, so is this car popular in Chinese market? Um, so we have been here, uh, I arrived just over a week ago, we've been running some VIP previews uh, before the motor show started as part of the run up to the Formula One weekend and yes we already had deposits in the bag before we came out and we have taken additional deposits since we've been here and we know that there are another, uh, another group of customers who we hope that they will also deposit with us so yes the Chinese market we hope will be an important role for those, for, for those 500 units that we're going to build. Yeah. And we know that another highlight of Aston Martin in this year's Shanghai Auto Show is a concept car. Yep. And we have seen the outlook is it's, it's very, very future sense. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, so I think that's the key word you've hit there. Lugonda, it is uh, the resurrection of, of a very famous name. Uh, we like to refer to Lugonda as almost being a 120 year old tech startup uh, using current language. Um, we brought this car to the Geneva Motor Show back in March. Uh, last year at um, uh, the Geneva Motor Show, we, we showed the first of the Lagonda concepts. This is more of an SUV type kind of car uh, in, in that market sector. So again, something that we know will be very important for the Chinese market in the future. The two Lagonda models will, will, um, will come to market towards the early part of the next decade. They represent the end of Aston Martin's, what we call our second century plan. Mm -hmm. Seven cars over seven years. We've replaced our, our core sports car lineup already. So we have the Vantage, we have the DBS here, the DB11 also forms part of that range. 003 rep represents part of the specials, but the two Lagonda models, they will come in towards the end of our second century plan. But they will be, from day one, they will be pure electric. There is never any intention to make the Lagonda brand pet petrol driven anymore. So this gives us our main push into a fully electrified market, literally the world's first luxury electric automotive brand. And that is where Rapid E is important for us. It gives us that stepping stone into the world of electrification to take that learning from that the different customers that we're going to be talking to, the different way that the cars are going to be used, the different way the cars are going to be sold and serviced. All of that learning we will take from Rapidi and then we will upscale that into the Lagonda rollout as part of, uh, part of the second century plan once we get into the next decade. Okay, now we know that Aston Martin has made Globe debut and another street car Asia debut in Shanghai Auto Show. So yeah. why do you choose this place to make such kind of debut? So the Chinese market has seen amazing growth for Aston Martin um, and as, as I said for Rapid E it, it just it was the right time it was the right place to bring the Rapid E to market we know how important electric cars are for this market we can wander around the show here we can see many 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 other electric cars from other manufacturers that we don't see in Europe or in the UK there are a lot of homegrown Chinese manufacturers that produce electric cars so for us to bring the electric car to the to the Shanghai show for the Chinese market it's the right thing to do as part of the launch strategy of the car and it's the right thing to do for Aston Martin as part of our brand and our second century plan thank you Simon no problem thank and you. enjoy time in Shanghai thank exactly. you thank you so much okay bye-bye Based on our interview, we can significantly feel that international car companies are now increasing their investment in Chinese market, especially in the high-end car market. But at the same time, we can also see that Chinese auto companies are actively striving to develop high-end car market, especially in the field of new energy vehicles. Okay, I think that's all about today's live program and thank you for watching see you next time